Hi there, welcome to another another 20 minute session. I've got two blocks for this one. So if you want your parallax, you can use your parallax. Um, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of upper body, upper body strength and revisiting some things that we have worked on before as well. So if we can start in a tabletop position, bringing our hands so they're underneath our shoulders, our knees so they're underneath our hips. And we're gonna begin with cat cow. So, we, so you're starting to really mobilize your spine as we exhale, round up, inhale, watching you don't flip top the head. You've got a lovely long neck here. And on this exhale, you're drawing those hip bones together. Squeezing those shoulder blades down your back, making sure everything's nice and active. Exhaling. Stretching into the low part of the back. Opening the shoulders. And inhale. Still keeping my tummy muscles engaged so we don't use the, the lumbar spine, the low part of the back as a pivot point. And your last one of each. And then we find, we find neutral. And we take this just into the upper body. So we're just gonna open and close the shoulders. So what I'm doing is trying to sort of squeeze my shoulder blades together and then I'm trying to push them apart. So I'm squeezing them together and then I'm pushing them apart. And you're gonna see how big you can make that. So open and close. So you are actually contracting and retracting your shoulder blades. Now on those dips, make sure it's not just a hang down. I mean, you're really trying to engage there as you squeeze them together and spiral your armpits in. We've got another couple. Almost as well, thinking about gripping with your fingers on, on the mat. And then taking the, the, the movement to your tailbone as we just tuck and dip through our tailbone. Really waking up through our abdominals, bringing that movement in there, that breath. So whereas before we were looking at the whole spine, now we're just isolating into different areas. Exhale as you tuck, inhale as you come back. So we're moving our pelvis into um, a posterior and anterior tilt. And then we're gonna find that, that neutral position. Begin to shift your weight forwards and backwards onto your wrists, bringing that, that warmth in there, that stretch into the forearms. And try and think about the the weight being spread quite evenly through the fingers and also the, the, the knuckles and the heel of the hand. And from there, take your hands further forwards, tuck your toes, we're gonna to find our down dog. So I'm tucking my head, finding our down dog. Remembering to just take a, take a little bit of time to set our down dog. So spiral your, your armpits in, activate those back muscles, pull the shoulders away from the ears. My rib cage is elevated without, um, without changing the spine. And also I have a, a mild engagement into my deep abdominal muscles, so I'm trying to draw my, my hip bones in together. And again, I always say this, but don't worry on the position of your legs. We want, to, we want the spine and the, the upper body to be into that, into that good, good alignment and the legs will just follow. So if your heels are lifted and the knees are bent, I'd much rather that you're, you're there. 
Coming back down with your knees and sitting back and giving yourself some wrist circles for a little bit of, of relief. Just finding those, those circles there. Placing the hands back down and finding your down dog. Now if these become too much for you, you will come to your knees. So we're looking at taking our head, so we're going to bend our elbows, you might need to watch. Just bending our elbows and sinking through and then pushing back up. Okay, so sinking through, pushing back up. So we're looking at taking the head through the gap. We've got another two. And bring your knees down. Give your wrists some relief. We're going to change the position slightly. So if that was um, very challenging for you, then you're either going to regress it and rest and bring your knees down and do the same thing. Otherwise, you're going to be stepping in a little tiny bit and you're taking your head further forwards this time. So coming up. Oh, sorry, I did forget. Repeat, repeat what you've done. Okay, if, if that level is okay for you. So we're going to come forwards this time. Yeah. So we're looking at taking the nose down and down to the floor and pushing up. So the weight is actually coming forwards. So I'm sort of trying to keep my elbows still in space. So my body comes over and forwards. So inhale down. Exhale up, we've got one more. Inhale down, exhale up. And we're coming down, releasing those wrists again. Now let's, um, let's come through, take our legs through into a seated position. And I'm gonna use my blocks here. So I've got two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, um, you'll just you'll just modify your hands will be on the floor or you can um, use parallax or get some um, equal size books and I'm just going to think about trying to push I'll do it without the blocks actually first just trying to think about pushing my my shoulders down and away so I'm really pulling them down and I'm going to push the heels of my hands onto the floor and slide my shoulders down yeah, so I'm sliding down, so I'm pushing down with the floor, trying to get my head to sort of lift up to the ceiling. Now, if your hands don't reach the floor, you're going to have to sort of do the same thing on tippy fingers. So you're going to try to push down. Yeah, so really push. Now, you might find your bottom lifts a little bit. Um, if it does, that's great. Um, if you're more flexible, you may be able to take your hands further forwards. So when you push push down, we're really trying to sort of lift, lift up, okay? So, we're going to have a go at pushing and just seeing if we can hover and lift, lift off the, off the floor a little bit. So, we're going to start with the, with the legs, um, and we did the, the L-sit pulses in a, um, an earlier, earlier class. So, you, if you have done this before, so choose the position for your hands and your tummy is going to be really pulled in. Okay, you can either be on tippy fingers or you can use your, your blocks or your books. Okay. So then we're going to really engage our legs and just see if you can um, lift, lift your legs and lower. Now depending on where your hands are, okay, will depend on if you're able to do this. So we're going to try for 10 pulses, um, and you can do single legs, okay, for five, or if you need to, you're just gonna sit further back and do these leg lifts. Yeah, so we're gonna push, push up through the, the shoulders, and then lift, okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. You might get a bit of cramp in your in your thighs. Um, uh, that's 
unfortunately um, something we have to go through to be able to to get that um, that strength. So we're going to do another another set, two sets we've got of these. So get ready. So change the position if you need to. The further forward your hands are, the harder it is. Okay. So inhale and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Now I'm going to use my blocks for this one um, because I find it much much easier. Um, so it's up to you if you want to use any any blocks or use the floor. So you'll also be able to see what I I'm doing better. So we're going to work on that feeling of pulling the legs up as I push push my hands down. So I'm going to push down through my through my hands and slide my shoulders down and lift my bum. Okay, so without the blocks, it will look like this. I'm going to push down and lift. Yeah. So I'm pushing, pushing through my hands. I'm really going to try and engage my legs. So I'm pushing, leaning forwards. Yeah, and I'm inhaling and then exhale and see if you can lift your bum. Okay, so you're going to keep practicing on that. Now, if you can do that really easy, you're going to do 10 each time you breath out. Um, and I'm going to carry on talking for those that can't or are still working on it. Now, using the block, so I'm going to, I'm going to use the block to really grip onto. I'm going to lean forwards and I'm going to push down. So obviously when your arms are elevated, you find it easier because you have more, more space. Okay, so that's where we're looking at that, that lift. Right, so the next thing that we're going to do is combine those, those two things. So either with your hands on the floor or, um, um, or on your blocks. And we're going to see if we can begin to lift the legs this time as well. Now, if you're still working on um, one of those drills, you're just going to keep practicing. And it might be the single, single leg lift. You might be getting tired, so it may need to be here. Um, otherwise, we're going to bring the, bring the hands down. We're going to push through those shoulders. Okay, so push, really spread the weight along to your hands. Engage your legs. And then maybe you can lift, um, lift your feet as well. Now, it is easier with a block, like I say. So um, to try and work on the, on the block, we're going to push the, push the hands down, lift up through the bottom. Obviously, it's much easier because you don't have to lift quite so high. And then see if you can get that lift through your legs. So what I'm doing is really pushing down through my through my arms, and some of you may be able to come into more of a V-sit. Um, if you've got parallax, it's actually um, personally I find it easier. Again, I find you get much more of a um, you can engage much much more. Okay, so you're going to use this um, as a work a work through. So we're going to go again, yeah. So if you're if you're practicing, you're going to keep pushing down through the hands, playing with where the position of the hands go, yeah, and using the blocks if that helps. I'm going to lean forwards. I'm going to push, push on to the blocks. I'm going to depress my shoulders, engage my core, and then try and get that hover. And it is really tough. Okay, so it is really tough. Right, well done. Now take one leg, one leg behind you, and you're going to stretch out through the inner thigh a little bit, and then we're just going to fold over that front leg. So folding over. And it's definitely one to work towards. It's not something you're going to get over overnight. And 
and then come back. I'm going to change sides. And also, obviously, you need to be able to sit in the position in the first place. So if your hamstrings are very tight, you're going to need to revisit some of the videos that we've done on hamstring flexibility and work on, work on the, the hamstring there. Coming um, into a kneeling position. Now we'll take a big, big step forwards into a low lunge. And you're going to take your hands onto your onto your knee and just let, let the hips come through and open up through the front of the, the hips here. Now as long as that feels okay, we're going to reach the reach the arm up. I actually want you to keep your hands onto that front knee. And try and reach up and behind you a little tiny bit so you can really open up through the hip flexors and looking up. Staying where you are but bringing that back foot around and lifting, lifting it up more into the thigh. This is quite a wobbly one so you might need a little bit of support. You keep trying to push that, push that um, hip forwards to get into the front of the thigh and reach the other arm up if that feels okay. Depending on how flexible you, you are, you might be able to take the foot um, around into the elbow crease. Okay, so just reaching up into that one. But make sure you don't lose that stretch. So for me, it's actually better for me to hold the foot. I twist too much in the other one. So depends what the stretch we're looking to actually do. Coming around, these are changing ends or stepping forward with the other foot into that, that lunge and opening through the through the hip, keeping your hips nice and square here, and then reaching that arm up. Push those hips forwards and again reaching around to take hold of the, the foot and once you've got your balance reaching reaching that hand up and you might be able to take the foot into the elbow crease if that is for you. Now hard today I know it's hard so definitely a a one to repeat and practice. So if your goal is um, L sit on parallax or L sit to shoulder stand or um, a low ring, ring L sit or straddle L sit or um, toaster bar or anything like that, they're all really, really good drills for you. And release. And well done, really, really good job today. And um, I shall see you again. Well done.